over the last 10 years, the field hockey team at Eastern High School in Boise, New Jersey has made this place, Lions Stadium at the College of New Jersey, their own personal playground to the tune of 10 state championships. Eastern's excellence and its record is not lost on its head coach. Um, it's it's a history. I don't know. I mean, I let's put it in perspective. My goalie, Alana Barry, is a freshman. She was four years old when this started. She's 14 now. I think it just puts it all in perspective of how many years, you know, how long 10 years really is. Um, you know, you think back to some of the players that started it all, people like Lindsay Domers and Sarah Dawson and, you know, Lisa Kreckin and Kirby Hicks. I mean, they, they were the people that, that began this years back. So, um... You know, it's, it's very exciting, um, and these kids have kind of continued, continued the tradition. But this tradition is not only found on the varsity field, it is found in the middle school and feeder programs within the community, which has helped to propel this program to greater heights every season. It's an unbelievable, phenomen, phenomenal type of feeling. Um, you know, I don't think that the girls realize the magnitude of the excellence of the of the program, as well as the level of play that they have, as well as the tradition, um, because of the magnitude on a national level. As they get older, as I tell my girls, um, they will appreciate it even more so as they get older, as they really understand what they contributed to and where they came from. I think they're very important. They see um, the importance at a young age camps that are available through Daniel Highland, and then um, the girls just know that if they're coming to Gibbsboro School, they're most likely playing field hockey. And by the time they get on the varsity program, they're already playing at a high level, a level where only a championship is acceptable. It's like really awesome to be part of this team because everybody's so like such good friends. We're all best friends. That's why it makes it so much better. And it's just awesome. Eastern has sent numerous players to Division I colleges and universities the past 10 years. It has also sent alumni into the senior women's national team pool as well as the 2008 Olympic team. It's all a product of a firebrand head coach, one who expects nothing but the best for her players. I think it's just, you know, we just try and keep it in perspective that this is the only year that we can control. Um, and, you know, we're, not that we're not playing for the past, but this, you know, there's only one time you're going to experience the season with the group that you're playing with. So we're just trying to win a state title for this season. Um, you know, we don't talk about winning 11 in a row. We just talk about winning, you know, this year for 2008. That's what it was about. And I think it helps to keep things in perspective and, and not to have weighing on them the history of the program because it shouldn't weigh on them. You know, they had nothing to do with 10 years ago. They can only control what they're doing now. So with 10 championships in 10 years, Eastern certainly has been able to put together a decade like no other. For TopOfTheCircle.com, this is Al Matei in Ewing, New Jersey.